Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Hey, let's take a walk and go see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Thanks a bunch for stopping by, I do appreciate it. Today's beer comes from Highland Park Brewery. Uh, this is their Sugar on My Tongue. And it is a double IPA coming in at 8.5%. And these guys are out of Los Angeles, California. Uh, it doesn't have a whole lot of additional information on here. It is a big 16 ounce can, plain Jane silver can with a stick on wrap around the label. This was sent to me by Robert. Thanks again, Robert, for the beer mail package and the beers you sent. Um, he writes, uh, an incredibly good New England IPA from the brewery. So we're going to do three New England style beers in a row here, guys, that Robert has sent me. He has very excellent taste, pretty much like mine. If this is what he's drinking, this is what I like to drink, but I just can't get him around here. I have to rely on the guys like Robert and all the other subscribers that send me these wonderful New England style beers because nobody around here makes them. Nobody. No freaking body. It's a shame. It is a shame. They, they produce a bunch of transitional beers to get to... Macalaga drinkers into drinking something nice, but nobody cans or bottles anything like this around here. It's sad. It is very sad. He said, uh, uh, and he bought it from the brewery. So, uh, and I didn't look at the bottom. Oh, this one has a date on the corner of the can here on the side, not in the center. It says canned on 0819 of 20. So this one has a date on it. So, uh, at least uh, uh, Highland Park is dating their stuff, which is a good thing. And if it's a good beer, it would be something that I would purchase, especially being uh, into the 8.5% range. It's definitely into my go-to range. Uh, untapped and Beer Advocate doesn't even have it listed. Imagine that. <laughs> That's a dying sight, no doubt. 152 people have already posted comments on this beer on Untapped, and nobody has listed it on Beer Advocate. So, I don't think they're long for this world. I really don't. The commercial description on uh, Untapped says, Sugar on My Tongue is named after the Talking Head song of the same name. Pours a hazy golden straw color with intense aromas of orange, creamsicle, candied mango, and fresh pineapple thanks to the hop combo of Citra, Strata, and Nelson. Well, Nelson should give us a little bit of uh, the white grapes and the citrus, very citrusy, and the stratus maybe where the orange creamsicles coming from. I don't, it doesn't say about any kind of lactose they're using. Usually the creamsicle beers or the milkshake beers have some lactose in them. So uh, we shall see, guys. Uh, a lot of times I can detect that, how creamy and how sweet the beer is. So. Uh, no IBUs listed uh, for the beers, and a lot of breweries aren't putting that on there. It's not super critical, depending on their hopping techniques. And this, that scale is basically irrelevant, to put it bluntly. Uh, but it's nice to know that, to know if you're drinking a 40 IBU or a 60 or a 100, to know how much bitterness you're going to get out of the beer when you purchase it. So. It is what it is. All right, guys. And these New England styles usually are not very bitter uh, for some reason. I don't know why. It is kind of cloudy, very hazy. Definitely looks like a New England style beer coming out of the can. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. My favorite. We're going to swirl around. Doesn't seem to have produced a monster head or anything. Don't seem to be over carbonated, but that, this will increase that factor quite a bit. So. Uh, almost two fingers of head. Looks like a glass of orange juice. Definitely a New England style double IPA. Uh, not any light coming through it. Looks 
pretty damn good. Uh, like a glass of orange juice, don't you think? Looks good to me. Let's get it to the nose and see what we got. <sighs> yes. Awesome hop aroma. A little bit of grapefruit and pineapple. Maybe a hint of oranges. Maybe a little tropical fruit notes. I'm not getting the orange creamsicle on the nose. But definitely getting some mango or some tropical fruit notes and pineapple. Let's dive in and see what we got. Cheers everybody. Cheers Robert. Thanks a bunch. I do appreciate it sir. You have excellent taste my friend. Now I'm not getting the orange cream cycle. It doesn't seem like it has any kind of black toast brood. Uh, in the brewing process to me. To me it seems a little thin for an eight and a half percent. Still very pleasant. It's a very tasty beer. Alcohol is very well hidden. It's a well-made beer. But I'm not getting the orange cream sickle. Maybe that'll come out when it comes up to room temperature. We always let it warm up and sip on it for a while. Usually at least 45 minutes to an hour on, on these beers, especially the 16 ounce. And the Nelson Sauvignon Hops usually have a, a, a nice pronounced white grape taste to it. I'm not getting that right off the bat. Maybe a hint of it. Maybe a hint of it. That might get more prominent as it warms up. So let's do the little swirly swirl one more time and get the back end pour in there in case there's anything settled in the bottom of the can. That's a very tasty beer, guys. It, it is very nice. And it has a date on it. Oh, yeah. Imagine that. That's good. That's a good thing. Highland Park, two thumbs up for dating your beers. Uh, so, uh, Maybe this one, uh, and what did he say here? Uh, he bought it from the brewery, so uh, I don't know if they distribute or not, or they're just dating it, and then it's a brewery-only type of beer company. I don't know. I don't have that information. He did not tell me. But he did buy it at the brewery, so that's about as fresh as you can get it when you buy it there, guys. So let me sip on it, and uh, we'll come back and do the final chug and grade. All right, guys, I'm back. We're sipping on it about an hour now. Very tasty beer. Dates on the bottom of it. I would buy this beer if I could get it here, guys. Uh, ABV's on the can. Dates on the bottom. Super tasty beer in the can. Very delicious. Very, very delicious, guys. Now that it's warmed up, slight hint of the Sauvin hops. A uh, little bit of the white grapes. Not much. Not overpowering or anything like that. Very tasty. That's an excellent beer. Eight and a half percent. Alcohol is well hidden, very tasty, nice hot profile, delicious. Final chug. The only drawback to this is it's a little on the thin side. Uh, I wish I would use some a little bit of lactose in it. I'm not getting the cream sickle taste at all. Usually that comes with beers that's brewed with lactose. Uh, so I'm not getting that. Uh, but I am getting the mango and the pineapple. <clears throat> it's very citrusy and a slight hint of the white grapes. Not very much, but very subtle. Very delicious. Very enjoyable. So uh, uh, Highland Park, uh, if you can get their beers, give them a try. Uh, I enjoyed this very tasty beer. All the New England style beers are usually pretty impressive to be. Not always, but usually pretty impressive if it's, if it's well done. And this one having the date on the bottom of the can is a plus. So uh, with that being said, guys, uh, it's, uh, it's a solid A, guys. I'm going to give it a 95. Uh, and like I said, Beer Advocate doesn't even have it listed. And 152 people have posted on this 
particular beer on untapped. So, a dying sight beer advocate is, in my opinion. So, uh, it is what it is. Uh, if you uh, if you've had this beer, let me know what you think. Uh, I enjoyed this. Sugar on my tongue from Highland Park Brewery. Very well done. Very tasty beer. Dates on it. ABB's on it. That's the information you need to buy a good beer. So, if you've had it, let me know what you think. Come and meet again. Let's go see what's in the fridge.